Hi, this is Kara from Darling Vulgarity. Today we're going to talk about the Mod Cloth Guinea Sacks collaboration. Guinea Sacks was a brand that was super popular in the 70s. The designer was Jessica McClintock. She later went on to do a lot of 80s stuff under her own name. The Guinea Sacks dresses remain the ultimate in prairie pastoral cute dresses. The vintage ones go for a lot of money. Problem is, aside from they cost a lot of money, you cannot get them if you are bigger than a modern size 8. I would say high school was probably the only time I was able to fit into a true Guinea Sacks vintage piece. It was a size 13 and I was pretty small at the time. I wore a standard size medium, probably about a US 8, sometimes 10. I'm a 14, 16 now. I go between an extra large and a 1X. There is no way I can fit into a vintage guinea sacks. The Mod Cloth collaboration came out a year ago and I was so excited because it's a chance to wear genuine guinea sacks clothes that are size inclusive. Most of the pieces are 100% cotton. Some of them I really, really loved. Other ones I was not as impressed with. The sizing was a little weird all around. I'm gonna try some of them on and talk about them with you. You can still get many of them on Mod Cloth's site, even though this came out about a year ago. And the ones you can't get there, I always keep an eye out for secondhand. So let's go. The fact that we're on the brink of summertime is one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about this collaboration because I'm starting to pull these out again. <laughs> they are very much summer pieces, lots of florals, very light. The first outfit I'm gonna show you is a top and a skirt. This is the Rustic Romance Corselet Midi Skirt and the Super Bloom Peplum Top. They are in similar royal blue prints, a pink and blue floral design with polka dots in the background. There's a tie here at the top and the buttons are these very pretty little white flowers. The skirt has the corset tie in the front. The skirt is a size 16. There is no stretch in the waist and the top is an extra large. The top does allow for some deviation in the sizing, some wiggle room because it has the stretchy area here, this ruching, and also the straps tie into bows at the top. So you can wear it a little higher or a little lower depending on what best fits your bust. It's a midi skirt, so it goes just below my knees. It has this nice lace detail at the bottom. There's this nice ruffle detailing on the peplum top. I really love this outfit. It's 100% cotton. You can wear them as separates or you can wear them together. They look really, really nice together and more unique than your standard sundress because it has that guinea sacks feel to the whole thing, that vintage feel that just makes you feel a little bit more stylish. The one thing that drives me up the wall about the corselet skirt I had to take it off to show you. Here's the zipper. All good, all good, all good. Wait, why are you stuck? I don't know what is with the zipper, but it always gets stuck right here where the ribbon piping is. And if I get it over that, it gets stuck again right after the ribbon piping. It's not that the skirt is too small. If anything, the skirt is a little loose on my waist. And right now it's not even on. <laughs> it won't budge. It takes me forever to get this skirt zipped up. Come on, Mod Cloth, invest in a decent zipper. You're making guinea sacks look like a fool right now. You're disrespecting your elders. Ugh. Yeah, I can't even get it. And I'm not trying to wear the skirt, so I'm not gonna bother, but just be warned. The zipper is a pain in the butt. The next piece is the corselet midi dress. I have no such problems with the zipper on this one. You can see it zips up the back and the back also has that same ruching and stretch that the peplum top did. This is a size extra large and really, I don't even need to unzip it to slip this right on. I loved this so much. I also bought it in black. <laughs> this one is an extra large. The one I have in black is in a size large. I will show that to you next. So this is another one that's 100% cotton. It's called the Porcelette Midi Dress because it has this nice lacing up the front. There is lovely lace detail going down the sides. The straps are lace with a ribbon detail down the middle. It's called the Midi Dress, but on me, it's not a Midi. I'm 5'4", and on me, it's a perfect maxi dress. 
I actually love the length. I think it works better as a maxi than I would have liked it as a midi. It is lined, so you don't need to worry about it being see-through. It's not. It has two layers. So the top cotton layer has the polka dot detail. And then the cotton layer underneath is just plain cotton. It's very soft. So I love that it's lined. I love that you don't need to worry about wearing anything underneath of it. Like I said, the sizing in the Mod Cloth Guinea Sacks collection is a little bit weird. With the peplum top, it was an extra large. It is a little bit big. I could have gone with a large in the peplum top. The reason I decided to go with a large in the black version of this dress is because this is the extra large and the straps, unlike the peplum top, are not adjustable. The straps are where they are. And on me, they kind of fall down pretty regularly. And I am a broad shouldered gal. So if the straps are falling off of me, it probably means the dress is a little too big. I love how this looks. And if something is white, I like for it to be a little bit looser anyway. I don't like anything that's white to be skin tight. This dress is also the perfect candidate to throw a shawl over top. This is the corselet midi dress in a large. Same exact dress, just in black. In spite of the fact that it's a size smaller, the shoulders do still come down. <laughs> there isn't really much difference in the sizing of this one, in my opinion, than the extra large. And I think I forgot to mention, but it does have pockets, which every dress should have pockets. Whereas the white one feels very summer, French. I feel like the black one is the feminine dark side. It is equally pretty, but in a dark witchy sort of way. It also pairs well with a scarf and I have the perfect scarf to pair with it. I love the woman who makes these. I'll put a link to it in the description because I just think her designs are so gorgeous. It is these big owl wings. And she has these in all different types of wings and all different color schemes. It's very lightweight. I'm about to get very real and very vulnerable with you right now. This doesn't say anything good about me as a consumer or my shopping habits. I just found this box in my closet from Mod Cloth, and I think it's more Guinea Sacks by Mod Cloth collab pieces. You can see it is unopened. The tape is intact. The only thing it seems that I have done is write the word summer. Here's what I'm thinking happened. At Christmas time, I go a little nuts because everything is so on sale and I get such good prices on things that I end up buying too much. I guess I lost track. I am not a rich person. <laughs> I feel extreme guilt right now. I also feel kind of excited that I get to do a Mod Cloth Guinea Sex unboxing with you right now because I forgot I had this. <laughs> what is wrong with me? In fairness, they are all summer pieces. So if I bought this because of a great Black Friday sale in the dead of winter, I probably didn't even want to look at it because I knew I wouldn't be able to wear it for several months to come. Anyway, let's stop feeling guilty and let's just open the thing. So I was saying the peplum top also came in a lime green color. I got the lime green and it looks like I got it in a size large. So the next size down because I felt like the extra large was a little bit loose. So we'll try that on. And I've got the ethereal elements maxi dress in a size 16. So let's try that on too. I just threw this peplum top on with a cotton eyelet skirt. Here is the peplum top, the Super Bloom peplum top in the green color in a large. I do like this color. It's a nice light Kelly green. It has the same pink floral pattern with the polka dot background. This one is noticeably tighter. It still has that stretch in the back. There's no zipper. It's a pull on style, but I had no problem getting it on. I like the blue one a little bit better. That being said, I like this one and I'm sure I'll wear it. 
just like every great runway show ends with the bridal gown, we will end this fitting with the bridal gown. This is the Ethereal Elements Maxi Dress. I think this was probably the most coveted piece in the Mod Cloth Guinea Sacks collaboration. It has these lovely bell sleeves. It's basically a boho wedding dress. It has these nice intricate detail, the crossover neckline, sort of kimono-like. It zips up the back. Again, it's lined, so you can't see through it. It's a very nice quality. It's 100% cotton, just like the others. Very breathable. If you are a Joni Mitchell, Carly Simon, loving chick, and you want an outdoor summer wedding, I would say this is probably the most amazing dress you could find. I don't know where I'm gonna wear this dress, but I do know that it is beautiful, and I'm glad to have it in my back pocket should I need it someday. I'm glad I got a 16 and not a 14 because the waist has no stretch and it fits me perfectly. My waist is about 36 inches around. Well, that was fun and didn't it come with some surprises? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have any of the Mod Cloth Guinea Sacks pieces, what pieces you liked, if you liked the collab, if you were totally turned off by it. Again, you can still buy some of these on the Mod Cloth website, though since it came out a year ago, the stock is dwindling and the sizes are pretty limited at this point. If you like it, I would keep an eye on these pieces on Poshmark, eBay, Depop, whatever secondhand market you prefer, especially if you are a midsize plus size gal like me who can't fit into the classic vintage guinea sex pieces and sorely wishes there were more of them in her size. It's probably why I went so nuts on this collab because it was my one chance to have guinea sacks. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.